the Sandinistas were going corresponds to the location of the next outpost, a supply depot. We should be able to make contact with her there. Can I ask you a favor, Snake? Uh, if you ask nicely. To make MSF bigger, we need to do some recruiting. Yeah. What's your point? I want you to avoid killing enemy soldiers as much as possible and send them back using Fulton Recovery. Not much we can do with a corpse except give it a funeral. Obviously. Put him to sleep, knock him out, hold him up even. And if you do have to fight, try to leave them near death instead of dead. And then use the Fulton Recovery System. Sounds easy enough. You know what would be really nice, though? If we had a way to Fulton recover anybody at any time. To get to your next objective, you'll need to backtrack along the way you came for a bit. Don't get too comfortable just because you know the terrain. The enemy knows you're out there now. They'll be out in greater force than before. Proceed with caution. Refrain from using firearms unless absolutely necessary. Hmm. Looks like I'll have to cross the river. Yeah. There's a suspension bridge you can use. It's the only way across. You'll have to be a little creative to keep from being spotted. So, I cross the bridge, go through the swamp, and come to a banana plantation. Complete with its own factory by the looks of it. It's going to feel a lot different moving through that area compared to the forest. Stay on your toes. Got it. Also... You may encounter Sandinista prisoners along the way. Try and save as many as you can with Fulton Recovery. I'll keep an eye out. There's a lot of banana cultivation along Costa Rica's Caribbean coast. The area is dotted with banana plantations. Bananas have been Costa Rica's main crop since they were introduced from Panama in the 19th century. They bring in a fair amount of foreign currency. A real fruta de oro, huh? See, si, but exporting all those bananas require a ton of land. Hence all the plantations. Clearing all that forest just to grow bananas robs animals of their habitats. I do not know how good that is for Costa Rica in the end. When a river floods an area, the banks can collapse, creating a marsh. You see a lot of them around here. <sighs> I'll need to watch the noise my feet make in El Senegal. There is a marsh on the other side of the river, too. The suspension bridge will take you there. We've got reinforcements coming. Someone attacking! <laughs> 
Recovery subject confirmed on board helicopter. That room, huh? We'll keep it here at the base. Helicopter is complete. You might be able to get past the enemy by hanging from the bridge. Press the action button near the bridge's handrail to hang. You can hang down when you're crouching.
Engine recovery subject confirmed on board helicopter. holding FSLN soldiers prisoner.
Start talking. Start talking. <gasps> Start talking. <gasps> anymore. So long as none of his buddies show up anyway. Go ahead and use Fulton Recovery to bring the target in. What's that? Is someone there? action button in front of a prisoner to take them to mother base using the Fulton recovery system. Recovery subject confirmed on board helicopter. Uh, enemy is past. Start talking. Someone's firing at us. We're going to alert status. Understood. Dispatching reinforcements. Proceed with extra caution. Transport the prisoner to Mother Base, if you had a balloon.
Listen, boss. We both know you're the reason MSF's grown so much, but it's time we started putting more thought into provisions. Good point. A place this big needs a good stockpile on hand. The Japanese say, you can't fight on an empty stomach. Something we learned in World War II. Obviously. Maintaining a steady supply of provisions is one of the basic principles of logistics. So I went ahead and set up a mess hall team. The team members' numbers and abilities will affect the amount of grub to go around. Without enough food, morale will drop. They get hungry enough, and we could start losing people. Anyway, I need you to assign guys to the mess hall team. Copy that. 